Our good friend Georgie Goble is here tonight. Good you know, George is there. George is now a regular in Hollywood Square as will be appearing in Joan Rivers' new movie called Rabbit Test. Lonesome George Goble. I'm a little excited tonight. Yeah. If I don't get started real quick, I just uh, met Gregory Peck in the hall. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, we talked about this once before, but no matter how many people you've met in the business, you meet somebody like, and this was especially interesting because it, it finally dawned on me all these years, and I never saw it myself, but people have been mistaking me for Gregory Peck, and today I first yeah. noticed the, the <laughs> resemblance, you know. <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> I don't know whether it's the haircut or what. You know, but, uh, it's the walk. Is that what? Oh it is? yeah, the walk's very similar. Well, that might have something to do with it, you know, because. Uh, but and, and a lot of times when people realize, you know, that they made a mistake, they say, "Of course you're." They're not. embarrassed. Of they, course. they are. Yeah. And, uh, you probably and, and, often sign Gregory Peck's name anyway, just to. No, I don't do that. No. I don't go that far. No, I don't think that's nice. But I mean, I figure this way. It was nice to talk to him and and all that and. Uh, and they say, well, how do you feel when you find out that you're not really, you know, because he's tall, you know. Right. You know. right. And, uh, but I figure this way, John, long after those tall, good-looking guys have lost their looks, I'll still be short. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and they can't take that away from you? No, they can't take that away. <laughs> oh, great. great title for a song. Yeah, it'll be nice. You, know? you work, you were, we were a little too early for Chautauqua, right? Yeah, but I heard about it. Yeah. Knew, yeah. Yeah, you, but you played a lot of strange places in your life. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I still play a lot of strange really? places, yeah. Oh, no. oh, I play all kinds of things. Uh, uh, fairs, hippodromes, shooting galleries, all kinds of <laughs> things like that, you know. You're Golf still... tournaments in Moline, <laughs> Illinois. You were out for Ed's golf tournament? Yeah. No, that was a good one. Good one. Yeah. Oh, but before I get, forget, I got my, uh, what do you call it? I always feel oh, better. Hollywood Square? Yeah, because... Uh, we always look forward to this, the questions and the answers and the real answers. Yeah. Well, I don't always know the real answers. You know, I don't write down whether, uh, well, whether two, I was right or wrong. Two glasses? Huh? Yeah, I got these glasses to find these glasses. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, I had a question one time. <laughs> I don't know unless you do okay. that. Okay. Yeah, I will. Anyway, you know. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Pete asked me, he said, what is the second strongest emotion to the sex drive? And I said, getting the car washed for the sex drive. <laughs> uh, here's, here's, he asked me another one. He says, uh, when, can you tell, when can you tell that wine is bad even before you taste it? And I said, uh, when it says on the label... Ten cents off on a pair of pinking shears. <laughs> I'll give it to you. That, 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 that's a clue right there. Yeah. That you got a bad year. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. You know, uh, Pete asked me a question. He says, when depressed, will a kitty sometimes sip an alcoholic be beverage? A kitty? <laughs> kitty. Yeah. Kitty cat, you know. <laughs> I said, uh, yes, as a matter of fact, just before coming down to the show, me and my cat Bosco, we <laughs> split a sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got the real answers to these things? You always do the, the uh, yeah, funny answers, well, but you right, never right, tell right, us. Yes, I'm always interested. Yes, in uh, every once when a cat is depressed, they will. You I want to get some damn technical. See, I, well, I want to learn these things. <laughs> we want to no, impart information. I don't know you can tell wine is bad. I don't know about that. Point, right? Okay, now, what is the second? I don't know the second strongest. The sex drive. Okay. Now, can a man become a ballerina? Pete asked me one time. I said, well, maybe after a careless leap over an angry swan. <laughs> I got one more, but I think I ought to quit while I, I think you're, on, you're on a roll now. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. But you never bring us the real answers, you see. I'm really interested in those kind of things. Well, a lot of them I know, but a lot of them you, you guess anyway, you yeah. know. And some of the goofiest ones, naturally, you, you go along with it yeah. because... Uh, it, uh, they wouldn't be asking it. You know, they can't make those things up. Where have you been since uh, Hollywood Square? Oh, what are you I've doing been between? Uh, all over. I was in uh, Las Vegas and Minneapolis, and I uh, just came from uh, in Chicago, came from Colorado Springs, and uh, had an exciting time there. I got a haircut. Oh. And, uh, 
<laughs> by a lady barber. Really? And a shave. Oh. I think they're nice. <laughs> and, uh, that sounds like something Mortimer would say. He used to say that, didn't he? Mortimer would say. Well, I he, think they're... He will now. <laughs> yeah. <for sure>. <laughs> <clears throat> no, but I really did. I worked at a club there called The Diplomat. It was real nice. And, and uh, Dull and Shirley, you know, this one afternoon, and I really needed a haircut. And I knew I was going to be on the show when I got back. So I said, what do you think? And they only had lady barbers up there. So I thought it all over, and uh, I decided a place to really, if you want to think something out, you can't sit within four walls. And think. So we went to the bar, <laughs> and... Uh, Good move. Yeah. <laughs> and that's when I decided to get the haircut. <laughs> I must have been at the bar longer than I figured, because I got a shave, too. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever get shaved by a lady barber? No. You know? Well, it's all right, you know, except it's... Uh, Red stuff comes out. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, she was really good. Oh, she was. Yeah, she was a good barber. But, uh, you know, when they start shaving and they start leaning over, and if you've been away from home for oh. four weeks. Or... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was really nice. I yeah. had a nice. And then one of the trips I made was to Moline, Illinois, where we played in uh, Ed's golf tournament. Yeah. And I got my medal. Oh, you, you got medals for Yeah, for playing there? it. Well, you deserve a medal if you play it. <laughs> no, but I mean, this is a tea prize. I didn't really win it. You know, everybody yeah. gets one. Yeah. But it was really a great tournament and uh, brought back old times. You were talking about the Midwest and Chicago. Yeah. I remember one time I played a club there when they used to have gambling in uh, some of the river towns, uh, the uh, Plantation Club in Moline. And I was there, I played four weeks because I really got acquainted and got friendly with the fellow that owned the place, Stan Wiedner was his name, and uh, and I used to get there early every night because he had Afghan hounds in his backyard. They had about nine of them, and I'd never seen an Afghan hound. Was those tall ones with the long face? Yeah, and the back end is higher than the front end, and they're really fast. They can, over uh, rough terrain, they can go faster than a greyhound. Oh, I know that. And I used to go because I'd just go over and see him. and this one little dog, her name was Jabel. I'd go over and say hello to her every night. Then I find out she first I didn't know whether they went in the air or under the water or under the ground or anything, but but now this guy has stand, he mistakes this curiosity for a deep affection. So the night I'm leaving and I'm ready to go in my forty six Hudson. I got it all teed up and ready to go to Chicago. And uh, he said, you like that little J-Bell, don't you? Well, I want this job next year. I'm not going to say, no, I think she's a dumb looking dog. <laughs> so he, gave so you the... he said that J-Bell is your dog. So now I get home, I drove all night, and I got in about 6 o'clock in the morning, and I snuck in with J-Bell, and Alice was sleeping, you know, she got her elbow sticking out, you know. So J-Bell, they're high strung anyway. <laughs> J-Bell come up like this and looked at Alice's elbow. Alice woke up, she said, that's cute, George been away four weeks ago, <laughs> kissing my elbow, isn't that nice, you know. <laughs> and then she kind of sat up, and she's... And one of the longest stakes the world has ever known. <laughs> and she sat up again. She said, you know, George, that's just what I need, a damn mountain goat. <laughs> it's, uh, Did you keep the dog? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. now I had an excuse. You know, now I got right on the uh, offensive. I said, all right, if that's the way you want to be, Alice, you know, well, I bring home a beautiful dog like this, and then you, you act like that. Now she said, oh, I'm sorry. I love that dog. I really do. And so she and Jay Bell became friends, yeah. and we kept the dog for a while until she bit the neighbor's kid. And yeah. then we had a. <laughs> Are they rid of smart them. dogs? I don't know. They're not dogs. smart. I mean, yeah, they're smart, but they're so high strung, you know, oh. they, they get them excited or something. They do dumb things like walking into walls and uh, <laughs> biting friends, you know. And, uh, so Jay Bell is no more. Yeah, but we, we did find her a good home. It cost us some money. We, we took her, uh, do you know Orphans of the Storm in Chicago, a place out north? No. Well, it's a real nice place, and they take such wonderful care of animals, yeah. and they do find them a good home. But they the do. thing is, you don't sell them to them, but if you're going to, you, you have to make a donation, and then they will make sure That's to good idea. find this thing. But in the meantime, we found some people who were looking for a dog, just like J-Bell. And uh, the lady and the little boy came over, and we were, like, interviewing them, you know, but... Can you handle this dog? You've got a, oh yeah, we have dog runs, we have this, and there's a bit two blocks down this way. We said, well, we'll think, just then, J-Bell bit the kid. 
Pat Gilda. Yeah. Let me take a break. We'll be right back. Jim, Jim Bowden's with us tonight. Okay.